In Britain, we drive our cars from the right. In North America, from the left. In North America, we drive our boats from the right. Why are we talking about driving boats from the center? Stick around to find out the pros and cons of center consoles on today's video. Hi, I'm Sean from Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. We usually look at bow riders and deck boats and pontoons to get on the water. But have you ever considered a center console? On today's video, we're going to look at the pros and cons of a center console boat, why it may or may not be the right boat for your boating. Stick around to the end of the video and we'll talk about a few of the premier center console brands. If you enjoyed today's video, please throttle that like button. Get on board for lots more videos just like this by subscribing to our channel. So one of the biggest pros of a center console boat is simplicity. It is absolutely one of the easiest boats for you to own and care for. It's wide open, has no carpet in it, has very little or no canvas. So it is one of those wear and go boats. You jump in in it, you pull away from the dock. You park it at the dock, you walk away from the night. You load it on the trailer, leave it in your yard. Basically, you just use it, leave it, and forget it. Make sure you tie it back up to the dock though. For that reason, it's a super simple boat to clean. A hose and a water, a scrub brush and some soap, and away you go. Another pro is ease of operation. Because the helm is in the center of the boat, I have great view from this side and to this side. I can walk all the way around my helm very, very easily. Jump onto a dock here, jump onto a dock there. I have very easy movement all the way around the boat, which when you're driving or by yourself makes it very comforting. If you're into fishing, this ease of movement is great when you're fighting fish because you're, the fish is moving around the boat. You're not walking through narrow windshields and, and trying to trip over people to move seats. You basically have a complete walkway all the way around your boat. Another thing that people love about center consoles is they're just so much fun to drive. Sitting here at the helm, being in control, being up high is a little bit like driving an SUV. There's a significant sporty feeling to driving a center console, which isn't really replicated in a lot of boats. Center consoles are great for storage. You've got tons of areas that you can put gear, fishing rods, anchor storage, there's lots of places to put things away and they're all usually done with keeping water out in mind. They also usually have very well integrated grab handles, live wells, all kinds of equipment to make your day on the water or fishing fantastic. One of the things that are making center consoles more popular today is that manufacturers are realizing that boats have to please many people. So it's not just about the fishermen and the family, it's also about the rest of the family and the water sports they want to do, the lounging they want to do. You'll find that now more center consoles are coming with bow rider style creature comforts. One of the biggest cons of a center console is that there are a lot of them out there that don't really have a lot of seating. It was originally conceived as a fishing boat, so there is usually a very nice helm seat or leaning post and sometimes there are leaning posts that don't have backrests, so it can look and feel less comfortable than a traditional driver's seat. Some of them have jump seats in the back, and some of them have small seats in front of the helm, but there are a lot of them that really don't have room for the whole family to sit and lounge out. Another con is limited weather and wind protection. Typically, just the two people or three that can get behind the windshield at the helm will have any rain or wind protection on cool days. There are essentially two different types of center consoles. One is what we would call an offshore, and that hull is very, very good in rough water. It has a deep V and is designed to be able to take it into choppy seas and still feel comfortable. The other style is what we call a bay boat style, and it has a shallower dead rise and a lower draft and it's designed to be able to go in and out of shallow bay areas, particularly in the intercoastals and the Gulf of Mexico. And you find that those boats are great 
when you have areas where you want to get into that you don't have a lot of water depth. But the negative is, and the con, that they can't handle rough choppy water. Some of the currently best brands to look for in the center console market are Raballo, Nautic Star, Boston Whaler, Pursuit, Sea Hunt, Scout. Center consoles are becoming more popular because they're becoming more versatile. As we spend more and more time with our family and friends in the water, it gives you lots of different activities that you can do. Whether you want to go fishing, swimming, cruising, or you're just looking for a cottage boat that is easy to get from point A to point B and put a lot of gear in. Center console might be the right boat for you. Thanks for joining us on today's Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. Make sure you like this video and hit that subscribe button for more content just like this. Stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you out on the water.